What's up everyone, Dapblade here with a Hunter's Guide to Monster Hunter World Iceborne. In this episode we're going to go over the charms that you can get from the various optional quests in the game. Now some of you may not be aware that some of the optional quests, namely the ones from your housekeeper Palico, can yield various different charms. These charms are only available from these quests and yield set bonuses that would normally be found on different sets of armour. Now there are only four in the game but this video will go over what they are and how to get them. Now as you progress through Monster Hunter World Iceborne's story, you'll eventually get to the Free Star Master Rank quests. This will open up the Perfect Room quest line. Now to gain access to them, all you have to do is talk to your housekeeper Palico in his window to the east of Celiana. Here he'll give you the various quests you need to get the charms as well as unlock new materials for your room. So anyway, the first quest is the Perfect Room Stone. This is a three-star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 10 or higher and has players capturing a Tigrex in the Hoarfrost Reach. Now a few quick tips for this hunt. You may want to make use of hot drinks obviously because you're taking on Tigrex in the Hoarfrost Reach. Also make use of traps or breaking Tigrex's wings to counteract its fast mobility and if you're using elemental weapons make use of the thunder element. And for taking down the angry tabby you'll get materials for your room to change the look of your chairs tables and such and you'll also get the adamantine charm this is a charm that comes with two unique bonuses it comes with the non-elemental boost skill which increases the attack rating of weapons that have their element or ailment hidden this is also found on the elementalist jewel and it also comes with the bludgeoner skill the bludgeoner skill was normally found on the high rank Diablos and Black Diablos set and it raises the attack of your weapon as it loses sharpness and it also boosts ranged weapons, melee attacks and the odds of them stunning. So it's a charm that could be considered useful if your weapon doesn't have an element and your weapon doesn't have a decent sharpness rating. To be honest the bludgeoner skill is what you would want to take this for. The non-elemental boost skill is easily found on jewels. The bludgeoner skill could be worth it if it's too much of an investment to upgrade your weapon sharpness. But anyway, let's move on to the next optional quest that gives us a charm, which is the Perfect Room Light Iron. This is a four star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 15 or higher. This quest requires you to capture an acidic glavenous in the Rotten Vale. It also becomes available, obviously once you've got to the point where you can take on four star master rank quests, as well as completing the previous optional quest, the Perfect Room stone so the biggest tip for taking this monster on would be to make use of the iron skin skill which prevents the defense down debuff that he can deal to hunters but anyway once you've captured acidic glavenous you'll be rewarded with even more room decorations as well as the razor sharp charm arguably one of the more important charms out of this little list the razor sharp charm provides you with the razor sharp and spare shot skill razor sharp basically halves your sharpness loss altogether and for bows and bowgun users the spare shot skill it gives you a chance of not consuming or using up a coating or ammo when you fire your weapon this is normally the bonus found on the xenojiva high rank armor so whilst it may not be the most useful charm for melee users out there for bowgun users this is one of the must-haves but anyway let's move on to the next charm quest which is the perfect room dark iron again another four star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 16 or higher this has players taking on an Adogaron and Ebony Adogaron in the Rotten Vale. Much like the previous quests as well, you have to have completed the other ones in the quest line before you gain access to this. Now a few quick tips for this quest is that you don't actually have to capture the monsters, as there are two of them, but sometimes capturing monsters can make hunts go quicker. Now as you are taking on both Adogarons, you have to be wary of the bleed debuff it can put on hunters, so make sure to bring some Astera Jerky or other methods of healing the bleed debuff. And on top of that, when it comes to Ebony Adogaron, Dragon Resistance is definitely recommended. I would normally recommend using the Dragon Proof Mantle when taking on this monster. But anyway, should you bring down the two Adogarons, you'll be rewarded with more room decorations. And on top of that, you'll get the Sealer's Charm. Now the Sealer's Charm provides hunters again with two skills. It provides them with the Elder Seal Boost and the Adrenaline Skill. The Elder Seal Boost basically increases the Elder Seal level of your weapon by one. So it will take it from low to medium, medium to high, so on and so forth. Now this isn't exactly a unique skill as it can also be found on the Elder Seal Jewel, so it's not a must-have skill so to speak. 
However, the other skill is a little bit more rarer, which is the adrenaline skill. Now, once your health gets below 40%, it will temporarily reduce all stamina depletion. So this is great for dual blade users, bow users, insect glaive users, and any weapon that can really make use of stamina. Now this skill is normally found on the high rank Anjanath armor, which isn't really available at master rank. And finally, the last in the quest line currently is the Perfect Room Silver, a five star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 19 or higher, and has players taken on a seething basil juice in the Elder's Recess. Now for me personally, Steven Basil Juice is not as hard as the high rank Basil Juice. Its moves are a lot slower and it's a little bit more easy to read. It also seems to stay grounded a lot more. And the biggest tip I can give to you is to aim for its neck or tail, especially when the explosive pods attached to them are starting to turn purple. But should you be able to capture the monster, remember this quest is a capture quest, not a kill quest, you'll be rewarded with more decorations for your room and on top of that you'll also get the gutsy charm. This provides hunters with the guts skill which is normally found on all the basil juice armor sets as well as the lunostra slash basil juice weaponry. Guts is a skill that when your health is above a certain threshold, I believe it's 25%, should you be hit by an attack that would take away all your health, so long as your health is above that threshold before the hit lands, you will remain alive with just one health point. So it works in a way like Feline Moxie from the Canteen, and is a decent skill to use, especially if you're on a hunt that only has one feint. But there we have it. Those are currently all the perfect room quests available in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Now there may be more in the future, which will yield more room decorations and new charms, but as always, when that happens, I'll be sure to bring you an updated video. As for the charms themselves, they are definitely worth getting, especially the Razor Sharp charm, especially if you're a bowgun user. The others aren't must-haves per se. They do give you some options, but most of the time there are better charms out there. But as always, with Monster Hunter World, variety is one of the best aspects about this game. So, until next time, I've been Dabley, bringing you a hunter's guide to the charm quest line in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.